1207, King Andrew II of Hungary had his third child Elizabeth by his wife Gertrude. The Duke of the Territory Theragen in Germany was looking for countries to side with him against Germany's current Emperor Otto IV. Interested in an alliance, King Andrew II and the Duke of Thuringen created a marriage contract between the Duke's oldest son Hermann and King Andrew II's daughter Elizabeth. Elizabeth grew up with the Duke of Thuringen's six children. Although they were worldly, Elizabeth remained pious, prayerful, and was charitable to the poor by spinning wool to clothe the naked. Three years later, Hermann, who she was betrothed to, died. To maintain the alliance, Hermann's younger brother Ludwig accepted her to be his future wife. Ludwig became the new Duke of Germany at the tender age of 17 when his father passed away. He and Elizabeth were later married in 1221. Elizabeth continued her youthful charitable practices for the poor, sick, as well as providing clothing for the naked, much to the disdain of her in-laws. Two years after their marriage, a new religious order called Franciscans came to Germany. Elizabeth would seek them for her own spiritual direction. This helped enhance her charity. Knowing there were poor and hungry people in a local village, Elizabeth descended from the castle. Hidden under her mantle, she carried meat, eggs, and bread to distribute to the poor. She unexpectedly met Ludwig, who asked what she was carrying, and she became embarrassed and speechless. Ludwig threw open her mantle, and to his surprise, roses fell out. As the princess of Germany, Elizabeth used her elevated position to help the poor. She built a 28-bed hospital for their care and visited frequently, caring for them personally. She continually sought out the Franciscan way of life. Emperor Frederick II of Italy encouraged Ludwig to join the noble cause of being on the Sixth Crusade, and he gratefully accepted. While en route, Ludwig came down with the plague and passed away. Elizabeth, distraught over Ludwig's death, wanted to abandon everything and just live the Franciscan way of life. However, her position as princess prevented her from doing that. Instead, she voluntarily took the vow of chastity, humility, and patience. Elizabeth was able to become one of the first Franciscan members of the Third Order. She continued her pious ways, caring for the sick and poor, while following her spiritual director's instruction. In 1231, at the tender age of 24, only four years after her husband, Elizabeth fell ill and passed into eternal life. She was declared a saint four years after her death. Saint Elizabeth of Hungary also graces this Hall of Saints, this Hall of Saints which is on the edge of the secular Franciscan Hall which once occupied this space. The secular Franciscan fraternity here at St. Bonaventure's is now here for over 125 years, cared for by our friars, serving with us, giving testimony to the life of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. They cooperated intimately with us in many works, and particularly with Venerable Solanus, in serving the needs of the poor, and were very instrumental in initiating the Capuchin Soup Kitchen here in Detroit. The secular Franciscan community continues to meet here at the Solanus Casey Center. Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, who graces this Hall of Saints, is the patroness of the secular Franciscans throughout the world. Mm -hmm.